In two games heading into this one, 20-year-old goaltender Brody Nelson had stopped 68 of 74 shots fired at him, good enough for a save percentage of about 91. The County of Grand Prairie JDA Kings tested him early, Brock Clements in close couldn't smash it in. Games against GP typically get chippy, so Michael Dupuis set a physical tone early, just flipped this dude. Kings with more on offense, but Kevin Henley denied by Nelson's mask, and that's what I call using your head. First goal at the other end though, Ryan McDonald, slick dish to Anthony Ruggiero, alone in front, slid it under Andy Gilker, pups went up 1-0 about midway through. Kings on the power play a bit later, point shot takes a deflection, but Nelson there with a huge glove save, one of his 18 stops in the opening frame. In the second, GP brought the pressure with the man advantage here, a few golden scoring opportunities, but just couldn't pull the trigger until a wide open Donald Gaudreau rocketed this past the sprawling netminder, tied the game at 1 lasted for just over 30 seconds. GP forgot how to play D, not a great idea to leave someone with 23 goals and 24 games that open. Kale Bell just sniped it to give the pups their lead back. 35 seconds after that, McDonald takes advantage of more poor defensive coverage, dangled Taylor Locus and put this one top Ched. Huskies with a quick pair took a 3-1 lead. Tried to extend that, but Gilker made a great stop on Lucien Serbin off the break. Not long after, on the power play, point shot by Bell tipped in front by Cody Disher as the pups netted three unanswered in the middle frame to go up by three. Jordan Reed White chose the wrong way to respond, falls after trying to hit Adam Bowie, decided to jam his stick in the face of Josh Robinson on the bench. He got five minutes and a match penalty for spearing and a game misconduct for his effort. After a brief ice issue got fixed by fire extinguisher looking thing, the third got back underway. Two on one, Kings looked to get back in it, but Nelson absolutely robbed Clement's massive stop. Pups got a five on three, couldn't capitalize. A few minutes after that, on a PP of their own, Zach Bennett was able to flip this up and over Nelson, Kings down by only two. But with three left on the clock, Disher put this one to bed into the empty netter, gives the Pups a 5-2 lead. Before this one ended though, McDonald undresses not one, but two Kings, dumps her in and then dabs on them on the bench. Indicative of Grand Prairie's night as they drop another 5-2 decision to the Pups as Nelson made 40 saves in the win again. After the game, Huskies assistant coach Todd Alexander complimented his team's older players for getting the team back in it after GP tied it up early in the second. That was our veteran line and it was good posed by them. They just went back to what we've been doing and thought we had pretty good success coming out of the corners tonight and that was the play right there. Walked out of the corner and a little give and go and of course it ends up on our top goal scorer stick. You gotta love when that happens when he's right in the slot and that kid's money from there. Derek Lightfoot, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.